Welcome to the video summary of the final CV news for 2022. This is what you will find in this month's edition. Trento has been announced as the European Volunteering Capital 2024. The closing ceremony for Gdansk 2022 was held and Trondheim took over the capital for 2023. There are two new articles in the non-profit online newsletter. Save the dates for the Spring and Autumn Volunteering Congresses in 2023. CV says thank you and goodbye to our trainees. And you can read the International Volunteer Day statements from our ambassadors. There's been a TGS study visit in Brussels. And a Rebuild Ukraine and Civil Dialogue event hosted by Civil Society Europe. The Inclusive International Mobility for the Future of Young Europeans was attended by CV representatives, as was the event Superheroes of Climate Change. The Civil Society Forum for Sustainability meeting will be held online. And CV was also at the TEPSA Academy. CV was represented as a speaker in the Solidarity Webinar, organised by the European Solidarity Core Resource Centre. And CV has been linking the EU to the national level as part of the service project, with revive and service events taking place all over Europe. The What Europe Needs breadmaking workshops have also been taking place in Belgium and Italy. And there has been a pilot training on participatory budgeting and how to fund volunteering. There's also been a pilot training on preventing gender violence through volunteering in Italy. The publication 30 Volunteer Faces is available celebrating CV's 30th year. And the publication The Role of Municipalities and Volunteers in Crisis is also online. The INEA webinars videos are also available. And there were two INEA events, one in Spain and one in Portugal, exploring the deeper meaning of volunteering in the Blueprint for European Volunteering. Inclusive volunteering training sessions have also continued to take place. The Sluzik Project final event took place in Brussels, also the Divo final event. CV was participating in the Crest European Conference on Creatively Repurposing Urban Spaces and at the My Promise Europe event in Tartu, Estonia. The Stop Loneliness Start Volunteering Project meeting took place in Ljubljana and also the V4B Project meeting in Tallinn. The Vosotros Project Public Forum took place on 13th of December. And the European Solidarity Corps projects ESC Watt and SuperSAPS have been successfully completed. The European Civil Society Strategy is part of the work programme for 2023 for the European Commission. And CV took part in European Inventors Week. The YEVE fourth training session took place in Brussels in November. And in CV Members News, you can read about WASM's upcoming Congress in Paris, about the Volunteer Island Awards, about the event on inclusion and active citizenship being organised in Belgium, and the information from NOV about the National Volunteer Awards 2023. The Europe Talk Solidarity podcasts are available, and the updated Erasmus Plus programme guide is also available online. And the European Solidarity Corps new call is launched for 2023. New newsletters are available from our partners. And there are continued opportunities in the Tosca training to help support the European Solidarity Corps implementation. The ECAS Innovation Awards are open. And there is the possibility to contribute to the preparation of the 2023 Rule of Law report. Save the date for the Economic and Social Committee Civil Society Days in March 2023. And we congratulate Lviv, the European Youth Capital, for 2025. There is a new publication from the Institute for Volunteering Research. There is a report about how volunteering has contributed to development. And the new Global Volunteering Standard platform is available. We hope you enjoy reading, watching and listening to this month's CV News.